To be honest, despite being a fan of the MCU, I really haven't been loving a lot of their recent projects. I was intrigued by Moon Knight and what it might have to offer and after finishing the series, I can certainly say that I like it but it's not as good as I wanted it to be. Mind you, I will be spoiling the series a tad bit. The first few episodes are about the mystery of what is happening to our protagonist Stephen Grant. He finds himself having lived experiences that he doesn't remember. He gets transported from place to place with no recollection of how he really got there. This makes for some good use of mystery and is one of the few good things about the series. But this is from Steven's perspective. We are experiencing this with him. The episode doesn't shift perspectives when his body is being controlled by a different consciousness. Later on, Steven realizes that there is another personality by the name of Mark living inside of him, which explains everything that he has been experiencing. But the catch is that Mark is the avatar of an Egyptian god Khonshu which gives him the ability to summon a superpowered suit allowing him to transform into the superhero Moon Knight. Now, I really like the design of the suit of the superhero. It is very reminiscent of the cloth that is used to wrap pharaohs in tombs. But here's a problem I have with it. Many action scenes are well choreographed but the editing is jarring. The number of cuts doesn't allow me to see the action. And even if I can see it, it's not that impressive because rarely do I ever get to feel it. The impact of a punch or kick is seldom impactful. And despite the special effects not being too bad, when I see Moon Knight fighting bad guys, I can clearly tell that this is a digital character, so it doesn't allow me to feel the weight of his actions. Most of the time, he feels like a floating and weightless CG creature that took me out of the action many times. Filmmaking wise, the majority of it felt uncreative. Many times, the framing simply felt odd and the choice of making a cut felt purposeless and unmotivated. When watching the episodes, even midway through the show, it felt like the series was still trying to find its footing. Sure, there's a lot of action and a mildly intriguing plot, but at its core, what is the show really about? Now in the latter episodes, I can say that the show does kind of have an emotional core that works effectively during that particular episode, but I will get to that later. Only sometimes did the editing and filmmaking feel creative, mainly during times where Mark and Steven are exchanging bodies because everything is subjective. Rarely does the camera work and choice of framing add to the story and the scenes. But when it does, I simply wished that the series had more of this. This show doesn't take place in the cinematic universe of Marvel, where our beloved characters reside. And when I first heard about it, it got me a little excited because I expected to see something refreshing and different from what I had become accustomed to. But despite it being a part of a different universe, what bothered me a little is that it still feels like a Marvel Studios production in terms of the filmmaking, humor and color grading, which made me feel a little disappointed. For a major part of the show, it felt like it lacked heart and personality. There's quite a bit of gore in the show, but considering it appears so briefly and momentarily that it feels unsuitable to this world. It doesn't go all out, neither does it minimize it. It's stuck somewhere in the middle, which is why it feels misplaced. Oscar Isaac is simply spectacular as Steven and Mark. He believably performs both characters and when he seamlessly transitions between the two personalities, I was simply amazed by how convincingly it was done. This man actually made the characters that he played interesting, but the characters did not really work for me that well. There is an external plot of the antagonist Harrow planning to unleash the Egyptian god Amit, and Moon Knight and Khonshu along with Mark's wife Leila plan to stop Harrow. And there is most certainly an interesting concept in there. Khonshu and Amit are both gods that punish evildoers. Where the difference lies is in the fact that Khonshu punishes those who have already committed a crime, meanwhile Amit punishes those who are yet to commit a crime. And that would make for excellent philosophical conflict between the protagonist and antagonist. Conflict built from clashing ideologies would simply make for a terrific story. But the series doesn't really build on this possible concept and simply just addresses that Amit is wrong. Simplifying the conflict to such a basic degree robs the show from all and any interesting ideas that would have made the story and characters more complex, where morality isn't so black and white. The characters have goals, but it never fleshes out why they are doing what they are doing. Saving the world is an external reason, but what is the personal reason that they are doing this? I don't know and that did not allow me to care about the characters as much as I would have liked to. Now the show was going alright and overall I like it but it's you know, it's pretty okay. But episode 5 was a major revelation. This reminded me of WandaVision where episode 8 was a major revelation as well for similar reasons. 
Episode 5 of Moon Knight gave me what I had been wanting from the show. It fleshes out the two characters of Mark and Steven as they are forced to look back on the past and find darker truths about it. We get to learn about Mark's abusive childhood and how he created Steven to be able to deal with all the trauma that he went through as a kid. And this made me empathetic towards both of these people who are flawed, real and broken human beings incapable of facing their traumatic past. Ever since that episode, I began to really believe in the dynamic between Mark and Steven and I began to care about their fate and I really wish that the entire series has been as good as that episode because it was all about character, about people. Moon Knight isn't bad, but it really isn't that good either. I wish it got into the nitty gritty of its lore and had more three dimensional characters and conflicts that could have escalated the overall quality of the series. The filmmaking and tone is reminiscent of what we have become accustomed to from Marvel and I personally wanted something different. Thank you for watching and have a great day.